Well, good morning, everybody. Afternoon, for someone. Uh, today, uh, I would like to present you um, our first. Uh, I think that will be judge. <laughs> our first uh, edition of the uh, smart cities approach in the TM fund. Uh, the program uh, uh, is being sponsored by Horizon China and Coin Electronica. Uh, specifically talking about the electronica, we are uh, helping them in Brazil on the development of a pilot CD. It's a very, very small CD that is coming out by São Pedro uh, with 3,000 people. And there we are uh, making a transformation that, uh, of that CD to a uh, smart CD. Uh, we are together with the SFI. Uh, providing the actual step for that you can see, you can see on, um, during the presentation. Uh, uh, we have been, uh, we have realized that uh, we have some challenges and opportunities uh, in the market uh, regarding the standardization of these markets. There is a lot of um, initiatives, <coughs> but none of them um, are focused on the operationalization and also uh, in the Tell how to implement and make this transformation uh, to the normal CD, uh, from a normal CD to a, a smart CD. Thus, uh, our plan, our objectives in the medium uh, term uh, is to develop some sort of uh, a couple of best practices and uh, at the end, a guidebook, uh, telling people, telling the governments, telling the telcos, and explaining how to uh, make this transformation. We will uh, develop a process of deployment and also uh, talk about uh, the enabling platform and so on. Uh, talking in terms of concepts and philosophies, uh, there is a lot of top-down and also bottom-up approaches around the world. But um, uh, we, we think that a good smart city, a good project of smart city, must be focused in the citizen. <laughs> so, what you can see is uh, all begin and all starts uh, creating an environment capable to explore the creativity. Also, uh, an environment, environment that the citizen can interact with the government and vice versa. And all of these bases in the digital services that we can implement and that we can deploy. Uh, first and Sullivan have identified uh, these eight um, verticals uh, in order to organize the types of solutions and the types of results and benefits, benefits that the smart cities can have. And um, they say uh, that uh, to be a smart city, you need to have at least five of these uh, verticals. I personally don't agree because you can have two or three of them well defined and generate a lot of values to the, to the city um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, be a smart city in some segments. So uh, you can talk about this uh, in the matrix part of our presentation. Uh, we also believe that uh, there are some key technology that can enable this uh, kind of environment. Uh, we think that all of um, a smart city must turn around of the open data concept. Uh, and also, uh, we need to have the capability to mature and also to collect the KPIs in order to validate the success of each specific uh, city. As because the KPIs are very um, important in order to make the connection between all the, the, the platforms and softwares that we have. Uh, so, uh, we realized that, that uh, we can have these four foundation components in order, in order to um, make the basement uh, for uh, digital for smart cities. All beginning uh, with the city profile. This is, in my point of view, this is one of the most interesting part of, of our program because <clears throat> will be a best practice that we can present in this. And, um, this uh, is a process of definition uh, of the vision of the city. So, uh, how we can detect what the city really needs, how we can detect the value that can be generated for that city. 
So basic policy characteristics, same to social, socio-economical and so on, we can uh, make all the assessment and make the long-term definition for each specific cities. Do the planning and also the final the milestones and at the end the metrics. If you plan to deliver some results, we need to have metrics to check if that result was delivered. Uh, oh, we'll turn around of the business model canvas. Uh, after we have uh, we made all the assessment and know what are our, our customers, we will be able to generate the correct value proposition for each stakeholder involvement. Um, um, based on these, um, the team that are providing these sort of consultants or planning for this city transformation will be able to uh, define what the correct solutions, define the correct uh, platforms and digital services that need to be implemented at uh, that specific city to generate the values that we that we can generate. And the first step for this deployment, uh, we think that is uh, enablement platform. What is this enablement platform? Is the minimum viable product to, be, to transform a city in a smart city. And I'll begin in the open data. Open data will be the center of all of these. Collecting all the information from the digital services using the API brokers uh, in order to uh, make the correlations and make the, all the, 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 the intelligence of the, the platform. Providing also the public data for the APIs that can be developed under the CPS, the CAP, that is a SDK, um, well recognized in Europe. Uh, and we can use this as our basement for the communication generation of the application. But it is very important to have the quality assurance of all digital services, applications, and uh, technology uh, that are serving the population. So the assurance will collect, collect information from all layers and uh, be able to manage this uh, assurance, make the KPIs and quality indexes. And um, we are talking about citizen. We are talking about the communication between the government and the citizen. So the e-participation capability is very, very, very important. The e-participation, we understand that are features in a platform capable to connect, collect information from the citizens, surveys, issues, problems, so they can report to the government and the government can communicate, interact and, uh, and return, make the feedback for the citizens. Also, it is a platform um, uh, it's a channel uh, to, to uh, provide the KPIs, provide indicators for the city. It's quite important to use this. This is our enablement platform. So we'll be able, uh, the idea is start from this. The idea is um, make this deployment at the first moment. After this, uh, we will be able to develop what we are coming up with of services catalog. That was the project that started uh, six months ago. <laughs> we are making contacts with um, companies, we are making uh, knowing a lot of technologies, a lot of services a lot and so on. And it's very important to check out the readiness, to make the validation validation readiness for these that specific uh, that specific solutions. And in order to make them able to be play a proven in that enablement platform. So uh, we will uh, create a digital services uh, a solution catalog ready to be deployed uh, as a small pieces uh, in the city. So at the end we have the, the uh, results and metrics. Well, okay, we have the definition of our objective to have the platform um, that will enable all the, the, the solutions, we have the solution catalog and uh, uh, we uh, need to have the measurements, we need to check the results uh, and these are uh, how we see the organization of this. WCCD uh, have, been made, have uh, developed the ISO 37120 and um, they uh, uh, 
uh, they defined a couple of uh, three or two or three hundred uh, indicators. Now, uh, the guys from the European Smart Cities uh, have organized and selected that indicators in order to reflect the smart indicators. And based on these, we can have the uh, building of the, 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 the map is organized in terms of smart economy, smart people, and so on, and you can generate checklist uh, uh, results using these metrics. Okay, you have the foundation, you have the concepts, but we need to have uh, the um, uh, uh, the process of implementation. And talking about this process of implementation, uh, we will um, have this simple and agile flow. The idea here is start a project uh, of transformation uh, with uh, strategy and planning getting the seed circuit based on the city profile. And this strategy and planning will guide us along the project. This will be our base. Uh, with this, we will be able to select the solutions, check the solutions portfolio based on the digital services catalog, <coughs> and select the departments. At this small point, we will start or implement the enablement platform. And will be able to deploy in different uh, process can, that can be separated the digital service solutions that we are doing. So the process of implementing can be uh, split in different parts and can be um, managed and controlled separately. So we have an, an agile process of deployment. Uh, at the end of each implementation, we start to measure the results and check out uh, that that matrix that I said. solutions. We can start and okay, restart this process of implementing all the time. Each specific part of this process has uh, specific characteristics. So uh, the strategic vision and plan uh, focus it in the city profile definition. Need to have, for example, a visionary guide in the bottom that is to hold this program. This is very important. Uh, we have also to have the stakeholder co collaborations, all of collaboration, all of them. All of these must be built uh, under the citizen and with the citizen engagement. So uh, solutions and definitions, for example, must be a, 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 a real thinking part of the process. We need to check out the result, check out the value that can be generated for each uh, specific solution in order to achieve uh, 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 the targets. Uh, the implementation process is quite, quite simple, but can be based on the uh, map requirements mapping that we uh, have done in the digital services catalog and guided in the, the, the guided based on the problems that that solution uh, uh, read know in the process of implementation. And at the end, we need to start to measure, create the maps, and make the management and control. All of that solutions need to be operated, and it's important to define how the solutions will be operated, either by the city or by the government or by the uh, partner that was contracted uh, to support and to offer that, 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 that uh, solution. Uh, we need to ensure uh, the quality and to end-to-end end -end services management. So, based on that, that concept, uh, we uh, identified at least eight components of the frameworks that can be used, reused, or complemented, um, uh, by, um, complemented uh, by this project. Uh, we start from the e process. So using the concept of uh, the digital frameworks that 
I start from the use case mapping. Uh, we can uh, define, we will define in point what other processes uh, necessary to uh, involve it in each part of this product development, agile development approach. <laughs> the B2B2X is a key component of all of these because we will have a lot of companies providing different types of solutions and different types of services. So the uh, business modeling provided by, by, by the B2B2X uh, is very important. Uh, as I said, the end-to-end -end SLA management is quite important in order to ensure that all of the, the services will be correctly delivered. Uh, the open digital APIs are also crucial because we already have um, uh, a group of APIs well defined in order to complement them. These APIs will be the guidance to the digital service catalog. A solution ready uh, to be part of this ecosystem will need to have the correct APIs in order to make the connection easy and fast. Uh, the digital services reference architecture is our uh, is our base. We are constructing all of these on the on this is this sequence. Well, as we will define at least 74 new indicators uh, or more along this pro the projects, the business method will be complemented with this uh, type of uh, indicators, and also we can. Uh, make the uh, evolution, uh, evolution of the information frameworks in order to support these new assets and also these new, new indicators. And uh, at the end, we have the privacy and security. We are talking about that, we are talking about people, we are talking about um, services that need to be secured. We are talking about data that need to have privacy. Um, we already started a scoreboard for smart cities um, privacy and security, and the idea is to uh, base it on the use case that we uh, will work on uh, this make the correct definition of the needs and the best practices under the privacy and security concepts. Uh, this is uh, what we have done in terms of identification, uh, process identification in the ETOM. So we have the assurance, the procurement, the operations and support and also building. Uh, but total, uh, the, the, the great horizontal for the supply environment is full. So we have to have the identification and point each process and how we use this process. This will be made in the best practice that we plan to deliver in this, that we talk about the uh, process of the, the development process. Uh, also, this is a screenshot. Uh, this, uh, will, this document will be able in our communities. Uh, that's the first version of uh, the security and privacy concept. And we can uh, check here uh, what are the, the, the guidance that we need in, term, in, in terms of security and privacy. What is happening in Agonis uh, Sonte? As I said at the beginning of, of my presentation, we have that uh, like a living lab. <coughs> so uh, we are being able uh, to deploy solutions, test concepts, test, check the, over, the correct operational processes and uh, also uh, identify what we need uh, in terms of best practices. This is a small case and we are planning to start to go other cases for the next stage of our project. Uh, we have some lessons already learned from that. Uh, the first of them is that we need to, uh, as I said, <coughs> we need to have the proposition of solutions to the city hall. Doesn't, we don't have to expect that they will tell us, I need a, a smart energy solution or I need a smart like No, this will not happen. We need to have, we need to have a service catalog well defined with the possible ideas or, and also the possible solutions and show to them. Based on the vision, based on the, the, the business canvas, we can make this selection and propose this selection. The second part is the need of a visionary leadership there. So. Um, the case in Agua San Pedro is being a success because we have there uh, the tourism secretary that is holding all the program. It is a tourist city, so the guy has personal interest in deploying uh, and develop the city, deploy best, 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 uh, the best solution there. So he is a visionary guy. He ensured the commitment and support from the city how to have operational um, uh, tasks that need to be done 
by the city hall. We need to help the team to have support and support from them. If each involved partner have one specific one or more specific goal, and they will generate parts of the result that impacts the whole result. And uh, we need to have the, uh, these rules very well defined, and they need to know what are the results that we expect from them. Uh, and the point most important of this, you are impacting the citizen life. So we need to have the citizen involved in all of, all of this in order to check if you, what we are doing is good, bad, right, wrong, and make the corrections in order to provide the best life quality, in order to ensure uh, uh, that the results are be, will be provided to them. Um, we have, uh, we made there, this is the, the platform that we are using there, uh, we have three digital services that are focused on security, smart lighting, and parking, infrastructure, and mobility. Um, all of these all, all these services are sending data, all the information, indicators, events, uh, and also inventory uh, to the FireWeb. That is a platform uh, in Europe developed started that um, uh, the, dev the development was started by a telephone and now it's funded uh, uh, by the European Union. Uh, focus at and the get, collect, or score, and also share data provided providing provided by the cities and the digital services that are there. So all these uh, platforms send the data to the power that is playing the open up and moving on uh, in the Google platform. And uh, we have two companies making the assurance with geographical information system integrated with uh, the performance management uh, that is ISPM with NetVision and also ESRR. Uh, we collect all the information, indicators, and metrics. We can make all the problem management, all the um, quality, uh, measurement of quality, uh, quality of services, and so on. There is a quite interesting part of the project that is the applications that are being that are being used at that. We have also health and education protocols uh, being transformed into smart protocols. Uh, but these uh, the solutions are not infrastructure solutions and also are not um, very expensive solutions. A simple solutions used uh, in an intelligent way that are providing real benefits for the city, real benefits for the citizen. For example, in, uh, in the health segment, we have an attendance uh, center that is capable to make all the pre-diagnostics of the population. So if uh, there is an elderly seat, so if uh, 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 an elderly uh, is with some discomfort or pain, so they, they, he, uh, uh, he uh, is being oriented to not go directly to the clinic, pick up the phone and answer a few questions and get a pre-diagnostic. So the guy will be, uh, make the advisor and orientate that elderly to take the medication, for example, or to go to the clinic and talk with a specific physician, with a specific specialization, with a specific appointment made uh, by a web scheduling. So uh, the process of attending, attend, the attendance process and there was uh, very, the part of the attendance is higher because we do not have more queues, we do not have more waiting time. Uh, and the, the school have the education and modernization uh, uh, with digital platforms. That is a very, very good process also. Here I have a screenshot. Unfortunately, we will not be able to showcase you the platform, uh, but we can uh, uh, send more screenshots and uh, to to for where to know. Uh, two, three steps. Uh, our next step is uh, for me and is in this and we plan to create the agile business process best, best practices and the digital uh, enrollment platform best practices and for the next digital disruption, the catalog and also the evolution of the frameworks. And finishing, we need to make some new reasons. <clears throat> it is important to make contact with this, at least these three uh, um, 
organizations that have uh, a lot of uh, standards, uh, well, good standards for smart cities, each with specific focus, and we can complement them uh, and also we need their uh, information in order to make a synergy and also the WCCD. That is it. Uh, if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer. Excellent. Thank you, Washington. Um, I have one question for you. Given the fact that you're now dealing with governments, which is a bit different to dealing with organizations, um, there's essentially a political element to some of this. What are the quick wins or short-term gains that um, you know City Hall, as you refer to, are looking for? Because they're obviously going to need to see continuous improvements or value out to the wider citizen in order to gain continuous support for these types of initiatives. What are their top priorities or short-term wins that they're looking to gain? I think that the most important part of this process this context is to be fast and short. Try to avoid the change of governance. Um, make the deployment of small solutions in short periods of time. Also, uh, try to create a working group that can uh, uh, survive across the changes, the political changes. I have a good case in Porto Alegre, for example. They organized a council uh, that involves Polish secretaries, people, um, uh, NGOs, and so on, that take care of this smart city transformation. And if, uh, even with the uh, major changes, for example, or political changes, this council, of course, that will have changes, but the, 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 uh, the process of controlling and uh, management is quite split. You need to have each specific place have specific uh, behaviors, but um, uh, uh, in the vision uh, under the city profile uh, development, you need to think in this. You need to think in how will be the process of change and evolution to sustain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Washington. Um, at this point, we're going to move to the Smart Energy Catalyst. So, thank you very much, thank Washington, you. for joining us today. Thank you.